Jewelry, 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 jewelry. What's up guys, welcome back. I'm excited to be talking about one of my favorite fashion topics today, jewelry, how you can be using it, and just kind of what pieces you should wear depending on what you have going on. Jewelry is one of the easiest and most stylish ways to set yourself apart from everybody else, whether it is your most casual day you're going to school or you are the dressiest you've ever been and you're going to a super formal wedding. Before we really get into it, the main pieces we are gonna be talking about today are necklaces, rings, and bracelets. I'm also a big fan of earrings. I used to have them pierced. I think they've closed up. I don't really wear them anymore, but if that's something you're into, more power to you, I think they're great. If you're newer to the world of jewelry, you don't really have a lot of experience. I do have videos that go specifically into kind of how you can get started, how you can be most comfortable in wearing it. But the one main thing that I always want to remind people of is my one, one, two rule. The essential idea here is that you're only ever going to wear one necklace, one bracelet, and two rings at the same time. You definitely don't have to wear all of those at the same time, but it's a good cap for yourself to ensure that you're not overdoing it. We'll get more into it specifically later, but most of the time the way I'm thinking about it is if I'm really casual, I'm probably gonna be wearing less jewelry, whereas if I'm trying to be kind of fashion forward trendy, I'm gonna be wearing a lot more, and then if I'm formal, I'm gonna be wearing things in a very specific way, which we will talk about in a little bit. Before we fully dive into what pieces you should be wearing when, gotta shout out today's video sponsor, Lupin. If you've been watching my channel, you have seen me talk about them before. They are one of my favorite jewelry brands. Everything is handmade in Seoul, Korea. It all is made out of 925 silver, which is the highest quality you can find. And what I love about it is the versatility and the focus on minimalism. These are pieces that are timeless. They're gonna grab attention, but in all the right ways. They're never gonna go out of style and because they are made so well, you're gonna be able to pass these down to your kids if you want. Everything I'm wearing in today's video is from Lupin. I especially love their rings, but the necklaces are great. This box bracelet is something I've been wearing for years. Everything you see me wearing, I've had for a really long time and have probably worn like 100 plus times. So you can see that the quality is top notch. If you like anything you see, there is a discount code down in the video description as well. Okay, so let's talk more specifically about what pieces of jewelry you should be wearing when in your life. We'll start with just everyday, very casual, school, running errands, hanging out on the weekend, whatever. I'm someone who quite literally never leaves the house without at least some type of jewelry on. Most of the time it's a necklace, that's just what I feel most comfortable in. But on days when I'm most casual, I'm going to go with a necklace and maybe a bracelet. Couple pieces, simple. It's an easy thing to add into my casual look. Here, let me show you. To demonstrate this, I'm just gonna keep what I have on right now, which is kind of an oversized black tee, some cozy light wash jeans, and then these sort of lug sold casual black shoes. To me, this is such a simple outfit, but it feels really good. And because I haven't gone over the top with my jewelry, I'm able to still feel really stylish. There's just something about the feeling of having a necklace on that to me always feels good. You can wear it over your shirt, you can tuck it under, it's completely up to you. Get creative, figure out what feels right. Thing to keep in mind with a bracelet especially, if you're wearing it to school or somewhere that you're gonna be writing or using the computer a lot, to me it gets a little annoying having it kind of like bang around. So maybe think accordingly or wear it on the opposite wrist if you're gonna be writing. Just a thought. Okay, now let's say for something where I'm getting a little bit more upscale casual, maybe for like a casual night out with friends or a super casual date. I'm gonna wear a button-up shirt because it has a collar, but it's still really comfortable and casual. I like to keep a couple buttons open. I'm gonna wear my necklace as usual. I'm also gonna wear a pair of dark wash jeans because I feel like this is something that I would wear more at nighttime. So I like a darker color and I'm kind of in the mood to wear my boots. Now in terms of jewelry, in this situation, I'm gonna be a little more comfortable wearing a little bit more. I showed you the necklace. I'm also gonna wear my bracelet. But additionally, I'm also gonna put on at least one ring just because it makes me feel a little bit more edgy. It makes me stand out from the otherwise very casual look. It elevates things just a little bit, but it still allows me to feel really comfortable. I understand that rings especially aren't in everyone's comfort zone. That's why I think it's smart to start slow with just one or maybe two. That way it just kind of adds a little something. You can wear them on any of your fingers. You don't need to start on your ring finger if you like it on your pinky. If you like it on your pointer, if you like it on your middle finger, whatever, that's totally fine. But as you can see, it's very subtle. My outfit is almost kind of like 
casual Western in a way, but because I added the jewelry, it adds just a little bit of a different element. It mixes those genres, which if you've been watching, you know I love doing. In your day-to-day -day life, or especially when you're starting out with jewelry, it's not about making a massive statement. It's just about enhancing things and being able to differentiate yourself in the slightest little ways. Let's do something for a nice dressy night out. Again, if you've been following, you know that my night out outfit formula is some type of bolder shirt that makes a statement, as well as a darker pair of pants. I'm gonna do these wider fit black ones. Let's match the shoes to the jewelry with the silver tips. And because we're going out tonight, because I wanna make a little bit of a statement, maybe grab some attention, I'm gonna go with my full 112 kit. The necklace, the bracelet, and two different rings. I like this combination because they don't really compete with each other and there's some space between with the empty fingers. Woo, I feel good in this. Now I understand that this is a pretty bold outfit that not everyone's gonna feel comfortable in. But the point here is to show you that when I am really going for it, when I'm dressing up and trying to have fun, more jewelry only adds to that. It gives me more of an effect. It makes me feel like I'm more of this person that I'm dressed up as and it just is a little bit more fitting for a night out club, fancier dinner type setting, as opposed to like wearing all this on my most casual day and it just looking a little bit out of place. Finally, I wanna talk about jewelry when you're getting really formal for like a wedding or a dance. I'm gonna keep things relatively traditional for this one. We'll start with the blue dress shirt and I'm gonna wear it with my brown suit and these brown tasseled loafers. Now when it comes to jewelry, I have to think about the rest of the outfit. For example, with my necklace, if I know I'm not gonna be wearing a tie and I'm gonna have this kind of emptiness from the shirt being open, I am going to wear my necklace. However, if I'm gonna be wearing a tie and my shirt's gonna be closed, then I'm not even gonna bother wearing the necklace. Because I'm not wearing the necklace, I know I still wanna be able to set myself apart a little bit, so I'm gonna wear some other pieces, but I still wanna keep it really classy. So for me, the bracelet and one ring. See, this feels really good, but it's also a perfect example of a time to remind you that what you're wearing is about you. It's not always about looking good to other people. Your jewelry might not even get noticed, but because I'm wearing it, because I know I put in a little bit of extra effort, the more attention to detail, it's going to make me feel like I'm standing out. It's going to make me know that I look a little bit different than everybody else, which makes me feel a little bit more confident. The really important things to remember here, guys, are that less is more. Let them do a little bit of talking, but don't make them the entire statement of your outfit. And also, this is about you. It's not about other people. If it makes you feel good to put a little bit of something else extra into your outfit with jewelry, as it does for me, then more power to you, that's fantastic. We'll do a quick little reminder here. When you're super casual, a necklace, maybe a bracelet, when you're going a little bit more upscale casual, you can do a necklace, a bracelet, and maybe one ring, or ditch the bracelet if that's not your style and go with a necklace and a ring. If you're going out and you're trying to dress up and make a statement, go with the full package, the necklace, the bracelet, and two rings. And then when you're being a little bit more formal, depending on whether your shirt is open on the necklace, go with the bracelet, maybe one ring, keep it classy, keep it classic. Big shout out to Lupin for sponsoring today's video. I have been wearing their pieces for years, guys. I've worked with them multiple times. Use the discount code, try it for yourself. I promise you, this stuff is timeless. It's gonna go with everything you're wearing, as you've seen in this video. I really hope that this was helpful for you. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, drop it down in the comments. We'll see you on the next one. Wear those jewelries. Jewelries, is that how you say it? I think you can pluralize it. Oh,